Kia ora koutou. welcome to this next video on forces. <laughs> I'm just adding my own music this time. Uh, so today we are going to be looking at the equation F equals MA. So F equals force, and the force is the net force. So we looked at how to calculate the net force in the previous video. And force is, uh, force is, force is measured in newtons. So the units are newtons, which has a capital M. Um, mass, M equals mass. So mass is measured, the units for mass are kilograms. M equals mass. And so just when we're going through this, uh, take a look at the um, capitalization of all of the letters. So F, when F stands for force, it is always going to be a capital F. M for mass is always going to be a lowercase m. Um, and so the units for mass are kilograms. And acceleration, so acceleration is always going to be a lowercase a as well. Um, there is, if you will come across a capital A later on in the topic, and that is talking about area. So it's really important to get the right um, case for all of your letters. So A equals acceleration. And accel uh, acceleration is measured in meters per second second squared so that should be a um, superscript two okay we'll do some examples with this so we've we've looked at two equations already and so we know how to put this into a formula triangle although we'll go through this together in a second but if we've got a car here and we're trying to calculate the force that's being applied to this car we first we would need to know the mass and the acceleration of the car to be able to work out what the force would be so let's say the mass is, why not 1,800 kilograms? Um, so it's, don't know if that's a heavy car or not, but so 1,800 kilograms, we'll say it's accelerating. Well, we'll just look hypothetically first. If the acceleration was zero, then it wouldn't matter what the number of the, the mass was. We would always get a force of zero. So this will often be written as F net, just FYI. Um, so the force will always equal zero if acceleration is zero, and that's what we went over in the last video. If the mass was 1,800 kilograms and the acceleration was, let's say it was 10 meters per second squared, we can use these values to work out what the force is that is being applied to this car. So this car is, we'll say it's accelerating in this direction at 10 meters per second per second, so every second, the car's speed is increasing by 10 meters per second. To work this out, we need to just put those values into this formula. So F equals mass, so it's 1,800. And that is going to be times the acceleration, which is 10. So we're going to get 18,000, because we just need to add a zero onto the end. It's going to be times by 10. So that's a nice and easy one. So 18,000, and remember, we always need to write the unit. So it's a capital N for Newtons. Um, the force applying to this car is 18,000 Newtons. So we'll rearrange these values a little bit um, in order to work out how to rearrange this equation. So first of all, we'll put this into a formula triangle. So in previous videos, we looked at when we had a... Um, a variable that equaled something divided by something else. In this case, we've got a variable which equals something times something else. So we're going to put that into the triangle slightly differently than what we had in the past. So if you see a formula written like this, then you should put the variable that is behind the equal sign at the top of the triangle. So F is going to be up the top, and then M and A are down the bottom. So it's when we're working out F, we've got M times A. If we're trying to work out A, then it's going to be F divided by M. If we're trying to work out M, then it's F divided by A. So we'll say, let's say that this force, we'll pretend as though we don't, we don't know the um, acceleration anymore. We're going to create a different problem. Uh, we'll say that the force that's acting on the car is 10,000 newtons so 10,000 newtons of force that is the net force acting on the car the mass of the car 
is 1,800 kilograms. So the way that we're going to work this out, we're trying to work out the acceleration. So if we're using the formula triangle and we're trying to work out the acceleration, then we, we put our finger over that and we end up with F divided by M. So A equals F divided by M. So we're going to have 10,000 10, divided by 1,800. And that equals 5.55. Or we would say 5.55. Or let's say 5.6. We'll say 5.6 because we're given two significant. Oh, we should actually probably round this up to six. So six meters per second per second. Um, okay, and we'll do one more. So if we were trying to work out, if we knew that it was 10,000 newtons that were acting on the car, um, if we didn't know the mass. And we knew that the acceleration when there was 10,000 newtons acting on the car was, um, let's say, 4 meters per second per second. So I'm just doing the units slightly differently there. Um, we would cross the mass out or put your finger over mass on the triangle and we end up with force divided by acceleration. So M equals the force 10,000. 10, divided by 4 and that equals one second 10,000 divided by 4 2,500 shouldn't on it 2 5 oh. oh remember units really important 1,500 kilograms so that is how to use f equals ma um, if you need to rearrange for m or rearrange for a Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more Level 1 science videos. Thanks very much.